Hello and welcome to another tutorial. This is a follow-up video of how to import the CSGO maps into Unreal Engine 4 without Hamua. However, this video will also be helpful if you have these issues with any other textures that you're trying to import into Unreal Engine. The same goes for the importing error. If you are interested in learning how to import the CSGO maps into Blender and Unreal Engine, I will leave a annotation and link to that video. The two issues that I will be covering today will be the no textures or white textures in Unreal. The second issue that I will be covering is when importing into Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine will hit a certain point on the importing bar. It will then freeze and eventually crash and it will give you an error message. In this video I'll be giving you one solution each to solve these problems. This is currently the only way I know how to solve these issues and they seem to solve the issue the majority of the time. However it is possible that these solutions may not work for your case. Without further ado let's look at issue 1. The first thing we're going to do is apply the VMF sky. This is not really required, but I'm just going to add it anyway, just because you guys will most likely be adding the sky. Once we have applied that, we are going to click A to select everything. Then we're going to go to object in the top left hand corner. Then we're going to go down to relations. Then make single user. And then click on object and data. Next we are going to export our map. So we'll go to the top left to file, then export and export as FPX. Give it a name and export it with the default settings. Once you have exported your map, feel free to open up Unreal Engine. I have loaded up Unreal Engine and I have made a new project. The first thing uh, you should do is delete everything in the middle. I'm going to quickly right click in my content browser to make a folder and I'm just going to name it map. Next thing we are going to do is we go to file, import into level. You're going to want to find where you've saved your FBX. Open your FBX, select the map folder so that it imports into that folder and click OK. Next I'm going to click import default settings. So our import has just finished and as you can see we have plus two in Unreal Something I want to note is that when I was doing this method, in fact when I was recording for the first time, uh, the import had actually failed and it had crashed. However, I had tried to re-import it again and Unreal Engine told me the file had been corrupted. So then I just exported my map as an FBX using the same method again. And it has worked twice successfully after that. So it could just be that the file gets corrupted. You may just need to export the map again as an FBX from Blender. Next we are going to solve these white materials and get the proper materials into Unreal Engine. So I'm back in Blender with my fresh save slash import 
all I've done is just supply this guy. So the issue that we're going to be solving now is the white textures in Unreal Engine. The first thing we want to do is come up to our right and click on viewport shading. This is going to load our materials with the EV render engine. If you do not do this, there is a possibility that the textures will still come out white in Unreal Engine. Next, I'm going to show you how you would pack and unpack all the textures. Make sure nothing is selected. What we're going to do is go to File, External Data, Unpack All Interfiles, and then you'll click on Write Files to Current Directory. Now, before we do this, I want to explain something. If you do this method by itself, without the method that I have just shown you, there is still a possibility that Unreal Engine will load the map without the textures. I'm not entirely sure why, but that has just been my experience. So I highly recommend pairing up the two methods, even if you can successfully import the map without it crashing. You can give this method a go by itself, however, it's possible that it's not going to work. When I've paired the two methods together, I haven't had any issues with importing or getting the textures into Unreal Engine. So before we do the textures, we're going to repeat the previous method. We're going to click A to select everything. We're going to come up to Object, Relations. Make single user, object and data. Once that has been done, we can click somewhere in our scene to unselect everything. Next, we will go to File, External Data, Unpack All Enter Files, then Write Files to Current Directory, Overwrite Existing Files. This is going to extract all the textures and it's going to put them in a folder where your current Blender file is. So if you go to where your Blender file save is, you can now see there is a folder that is called textures. And this is where my Blender file has been saved. Will you read us copy? And it's in this directory. If we open up the textures, as you can see, it has every single texture and normals, etc. for the map. Next, we're going to go to File, Export FBX. We're going to export it over my FBX and I'm just going to import with the default settings. Once your FBX has successfully been exported, you can now open Unreal Engine. So we are back in Unreal Engine. I have just loaded a new project, added the map folder. We're going to do exactly the same as before. File, import into level. Find your FBX file, open it, put it in your desired folder, import with default settings. Okay, so the import has just finished. It did take quite a while. And as you can see, we have got dust too, with all the textures. So thanks for watching guys, if you need any more help, uh, there is a link to my Discord. You can also just leave comments in the YouTube comment section. Thank you for watching, peace.